There's so many examples in history of the accuracy of the scribes in transcribing and copying the text of the Old Testament to make sure there was fidelity all the way through. A good example was what was found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, what are the Dead Sea Scrolls? In the book, The Da Vinci Code, Dan Brown made so many historical errors. One was this. Notice what he said. Some of the Gospels Constantine attempted to eradicate survived in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Look, professors in universities said how accurate this is and everything. Please hear me. There were no Gospels found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. That's a total historic error. But what were the Dead Sea Scrolls? There was a community of committed Jews living at the Qumran community. They wanted to separate themselves from the world. They developed their own disciplines and everything. Well, the Roman army was marching towards Jerusalem. And they knew that in a few days, the army would be there and would probably destroy them, kill them, and destroy the city of Qumran. But they had all their, their scriptures and their manuals of discipline and everything. They, they didn't have time to take them with them. They had to flee. So what they did was this. They went up to the caves in the mountains around Qumran. They climbed up and they placed the manuscripts into the caves and their, their other literature and books. Then they closed the entrance of the cave and they camouflaged it, where when you looked at it, you could not see that it was a cave. And then they fled with the understanding in a few years they would return and get and receive back all of their manuscripts and books and everything and start their community again. But they were never able to return. And for 2,000 years, those manuscripts remain hidden in those caves without anyone knowing it. But you will be quite interested in how they were discovered and then the significance of that discovery when it comes to the Word of God.